Okay, hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. So today on this video is just preview of items that I'm going to be having for an auction October 6th at 5 p.m. Mountain Central Time. That's Arizona time. So make sure you have your notification bells um, clicked so that you get notified. When I do go live, it will be a live auction. And there'll be a starting bid on each item. And uh, we'll just get started with some of the, the items that I have. Now I have lots of coasters and these are not my paintings yet. My paintings will come out my next auction because I'm gonna have two in a row. But I have so much that I'm gonna break them up, so. If you're looking for paintings, yeah, I still have to gloss some of them. That'll be in my next auction. But I'm going to take care of one at a time one week here. And we'll start with the vases. So this was a very unique, very beautiful. It shimmers, metallic vase. I actually pour painted on with acrylic. And then I went ahead and did uh, resin over the top of it. My rims are always real nice. But I know sometimes it's kind of hard to tell within the camera. And I am definitely too high. I'll raise that camera. So this is about a 10 inch. Okay. And of course it's about 3 to 4 inches. That way look at it I absolutely love this one it shimmers just beautifully that's what it'll look like standing up very nice base so that is number one my starting bid will be ten dollars on that one If you're interested, take a screenshot of whatever. Okay, SB is starting bid, number one. This vase is number two. And we're looking at about seven inches by six or five actually. This one's covered with resin also. This is number two, starting bid $10. This one is number three. And that's about a seven and five. I loved this one. That's covered with resin also. Starting bid $10. Item number three. This is item number four. Beautiful. This, this is a seven also, but a five. I think red roses would look so beautiful in that too. This one's covered with resin as well. Starting bid, $10. Number four. Another beautiful one covered in resin. I love this one. This is seven by six. This is number five, and the starting bid is ten dollars. This one is beautiful. I believe it's in malachite, metallic. 
I just love this one. Covered in resin. Same size, seven by five. And that is number six, starting bid, $10. This one here is number seven, starting bid, $10. It's actually much wider. You're looking at about, hmm, wait, looking at about seven wide here and seven height. Beautiful earth tones. This one is not covered with resin. This is covered with Krylon. Or no, this is the Rust-Oleum Glaze. Very well protected though. Very nicely protected. Number seven, starting bid, $10. This is just a little something I've had. It's cute and pretty. Little tiny heart. Uh, that's like four, three. With some fake little red flowers in it that look real pretty. Starting bid on this one is $5. Beautiful. I have this stand here. This bottom heart is around a seven, and the two top ones are around a six. Okay, I actually switched this from a tall stand to a short one because they were so small. They looked kind of funny, really tall and separated. So I figured this could be used for like some chocolates or something. Uh, this is about an, a nine stand in tall. And that just needs to be tightened. But I have little feet on the bottom. And it's pretty. My starting bid on that is $20. This is a beautiful cake stand. Okay, I even have the sides resin so that these will never come off, that gilding. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to show these on the camera. But it's beautiful. Bottom has got feet all the way around it. It's got a gold shimmer, 3D look. And this one stands oh, 12, about 14 tall. The bottom one is about nine. The middle one is seven. And the top one is five and a half. This is number 10. Uh, my starting bid is 35, which is really good because I was actually asking $60 for this. Okay, sorry about the camera wiggling. <laughs> this one here is my geode that I just made. I have some beautiful diamond dust around here and it sparkles. And uh, it's just beautiful. And actually some of the stones stand up in there. And I went ahead and I put a hook on the back and it stands very beautiful on the wall. This is about 13 long, about eight wide. This is number 11, starting bid $30. Okay, this is number 12. And uh, this is beautiful, but I do have to finish a few things on it still, which I will be doing. Where was I here? Looking about 12 there, and we're looking at about nine wide. So this was done with some rose quartz tumbled stones, 
and it's got a beautiful shimmer with the metallic pearl in here and beautiful uh, bubblegum glow. Now the one part I'm going to be doing is my sides over again, but this time I'm going to put some resin around the sides to attach it because it started to come up. The glass glitter, see? But it's beautiful and I will redo that if it sells. Well, I'm going to redo it anyway. Yeah, it started coming out. I've kind of figured I needed to put some resin around it. But I didn't want it to take away the bling of the glass glitter, so that was pretty much a waste of glass glitter. But I went in and I put a hook on the top here and on the side so you can hang it any way you'd like, either this way or this way. That's beautiful. You can only imagine what it'll look like when it's done. So. That one is number 12. My starting bid will be $30 on that. And this here is, oh, I think it's like a trivet. You know, one of those. <laughs> I got this. And I went ahead and even did a coat of resin on the top. This was one of those blooms. It's just beautiful and flawless. I forgot to put that in my last sale. This is about a 12 uh, by 9. That's item number 13, starting bid $15. Okay, this one was... A really nice clock I did with alcohol ink. It's just beautiful. Really nice. Turned out beautiful. So this one's about an eight and a half round. And got a hook on the back of the mechanism, a resin to hook right there. This is number 14, starting bid, $15. Okay, I've had this one for a long time. This was done with alcohol ink also. It's a clock. Decided to just put four little studs here as indicators for numbers. And uh, it's a very nice little clock. Oh, forgot to put a hook on the back. You can always use contact, those little contact strips. And this one is around seven. Number 15, starting bid $10. This one my son had in his room for a while and we just kept on switching it around, but it started at a queen and then, of course, ace, two, three, four, five, like that. It's just a little dusty. <laughs> and it'll clean up. There's no flaws on this at all. And I put a hook on the back of that, too. So you can use those command strips, too. But I decided to put a hook on this one. This was a record, a 45. And we're looking at... Around six and a half. This is number 16. My starting bid is only $10. Okay. Let's see if some of you remember this one. And I put a top coat on this. And it is flawless. This one's huge. So, wow, it's about a 12, about 14, yeah, 14 round, you know. And then there's little coasters that match it, about three. So this one is resin. It's that 3D flower bloom. Beautiful, I loved it so much. I love it. Very heavy and nice little tray for things something it's just so pretty 
looks like feathers to me. Isn't that pretty? I've got silver flakes. I went ahead and put some uh, feet on the back of them. And it will have feet on these too. A little matching set. <laughs> this is number 17. I was going $80 for this. But my starting bid will only be $45. Okay. This one I love so much. <laughs> it is so cool. And this one was around seven. It's got some feet on it. Real pretty. That's number 18. My starting bid will be only $10. Some of you might remember this one, Never Give Up Hope. <laughs> and this one is beautiful. Also has some feet on the back of it. Be number 19, starting bid $10. Okay, so this one here I did quite a while back ago. I loved it so much. Uh, really nice resin pieces here. The Ocean Beach. Has some beautiful glass glitter in there. Starfish. Sand dollar and some beautiful alcohol ink to make it look really cool. So this is gonna be a set. This is about a seven heart. And these are about a five and a half. Some of these don't have feet on them, though. Not yet, anyway. Pretty blue sand. Anyway, that one's number 20. My starting bid is $30 for that set. And these were awesome. These are round coasters. And they're looking about four. They're so pretty. With real San Diego sand in there too. There's no coat no stompers on the bottom though. The feet. They're actually very thick. Almost a half an inch there. A little over. So real nice. This will be set number 21. My starting bid on these are 25. This is actually one of my alternate favorites. I love this set so much. Just beautiful. Just gorgeous. Some glass, like sea glass in there. No feet though yet. But these I don't always put feet on. So I like to kind of stack them like that. Make them look pretty, you know, on a table or something. Uh, it's up to you though. Such a pretty set. I love this set so much. So that one is number 22. My starting bid is only $20. Okay, this one's so pretty. I love this one. Uh, this one is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shimmer. And it just came out. The effects on these are just crazy cool. Beautiful set. Now, some of these I might not have put gilding on because I may have not wanted it on the sides. So, there's nothing, no stoppers on the bottom of these either. 
But I just love this set so much. Just beautiful. So that one is number 23, starting bid 20. Okay, this one's number 24. And I love this black and silver. And then some stones in there. Some glass. Shimmers real pretty. And this one is number 24, starting bid 20. Okay. These are items number 25, and they're about four and a half. Uh, these, uh, they're very smooth. They're just maybe like one or, they're real tiny. You know, a little stick up of the foil, but it's nothing serious at all. So that's no biggie. And that's the way it is on each one. There's maybe like two, two little spots on each one that you can barely see. Or you could just barely even feel them so no cup is gonna be affected by it. Anyway, that was that black set I did. With the gold flaking. And they're just scuffed from grease fingers, but they're real pretty. That's number 25, starting bid 20. This is number 26. And we're looking at four and a half again, yep, same thing. Those are that beautiful, beautiful, with that gold, liquid gold in it. Gold edging on there. And this is number 26, starting bid $20. I know y'all remember this one. <laughs> this is my successful, which I plan on making more like a silver one too. And then I have some uh, copper plate, some copper stuff too, so. Oh golly. That is number 27, starting bid 20 bucks. Okay, this is one of my ultimate favorites. And, well, I suppose I was just asking too much because nobody wanted them before. And I'm like, uh, they're just beautiful. The green and gold. So gorgeous. It's that gold glow in there. Uh, one, one of these half feet on it, I started and ran out of feet. So, <laughs> isn't that funny? Uh, but that's easy fix on those. This is starting bid $20. I think I was asking 60 for this set. <laughs> another one of my absolute favorite. I love this set too. So pretty. Oh, if you could just see them in person, they just glow. Beautiful. Nothing stip stipping up on the tops either. Sticking up. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Beautiful. This one's set number 29, starting bid 20. Okay, I just realized I stopped measuring. 
Well, I think you could kind of get the idea. If you have questions, you can ask. These are five long and three wide here. These were a really unique set. I accidentally put the glitter on the bottom first, <laughs> but it's still cool. The top is. The bottom, yeah, because that was, they float, you know? I put the glitter on the top, I mean, yes, but the bottoms turned out really neat. And that's just two sets. That'd be number 30, starting bit 10, but they're cute. Okay, these were my start, my first time I was trying the 3D flower. Uh, so it'd be up to you which side you like them. Those Petri ones, real pretty gold and pretty wispiness of white going on in there but yeah I liked it there because the these were those gold uh, glass glitter flakes gold glass flakes and of course those are around three oh wait a minute I forgot what these are three and a half okay but they're pretty though Real pretty. I still love them, even though it didn't work out. I didn't use enough of the casting craft, but they're beautiful. Okay, that's number 31, starting bid 20. This is a very unique set, so I just love them. They were in the Petries too, and they turned out really clear, which was super cool. Whole bunch of different um, beer caps, and I think maybe there's a couple of them I found out was root beer. I'm not real sure. It might have been the Newcastle, but most of them are all beer. <laughs> That's number 32. My starting bid is 25. Okay. Well, I have to stop there. My phone just notified me and told me that my memory's full. And I forgot I had some saved videos on there, which I can't delete. Uh, well, that's okay, because I can put them in my next auction. So, it's all good. And I think I had plenty anyway. <laughs> I think I was overdoing it as it was. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. The buyer will pay shipping, but you, uh, mind you, you know, the, the vases are, they're, they're not heavy at all. Coasters are not heavy. I just sent some coasters out last week. Let's see. And it was like $5 and some cents. So I think the most expensive ones will be just that big, heavy 14. And we're looking at maybe, geez, maybe about $15, you know, at the most for that one. And that's it for shipping. So they won't, it, that won't be bad. That just kind of helps me and helps you a little bit. Because <laughs> for me on the packing, you know, when you have paintings, you got to put cardboard on the back, cardboard on the front, everything like that. The vases are easy to do also with that popcorn and foam and bubble wrap and everything. So, uh, I hope to see you all there. That would be awesome. I appreciate everybody watching this video today. And um, I hope you have a really good week. So, I will hopefully catch you Tuesday. I'll see you then. Bye-bye now.